My turn. So some friends are waiting. Let me call on Mahialani. Yes, Mahialani. <clears throat> Congratulations, that sounds like a lot of fun. Wonderful. All right, let me call on Brandon Ace. Yes, Brandon. Yesterday I went to the secret beach. We always been there. We've been there before and then saw uh, um like river island. And then, um, we clean our house. Good. I'm glad to hear that. That sounds wonderful. <clears throat> All right. Let me see here. Yes, Miriam. Um, my, oh, my, my mom is getting my folder. Okay. Sounds perfect. It's there. It's out there. All right, let me call on Sandina. Yes, Sandina. This is why, you know, um, Saturday and Sunday, I was working on this candle. Me and my dad made it together. Congratulations. Day candle. Congratulations. It's that looks... Also on the clock kind of thing that can light up. Wonderful. How and special. And we just, I put it in the microwave. And you melted them. That's so fun. Yes. That's great. And now it's like touching the top part. It's like touching like chocolate. Wonderful. Like, yeah, Wonderful. Boys and girls, I have something special to show you. Now I put a picture up on Friday. We had one butterfly on Friday. And I said, I bet over the weekend, all of them will emerge from their chrysalis. And that is exactly what happened. Now, let me see if I can show them to you here. There's a butterfly. Oh, this one's flying. There's a butterfly down here and it's flapping its wings. There's a couple of them right here. And so what we're going to do is this. Tomorrow, we're going to be writing in our butterfly journal. We have a little bit of work to do in our butterfly journal. I'm going to be, oh, this guy's wings are really fluttering right here. Um, I'm going to be mixing up some sugar water and getting that sugar water in there to make sure they have something to drink for the next few days. But by Friday, by Friday, we will be releasing our butterflies. And so what I'm going to be doing is we're gonna come up with a time that everyone can join and we'll have some kids at school and some kids on Zoom and we will release our butterflies together. So we'll have to make sure that they're still doing okay. If they last until Friday, great. It might have to be on Thursday, but within the next few days, we'll be finishing up our butterfly journal and letting them go. Oh, this guy's really, oh, there he goes. He's flying. Did you see him flying? He's moving his wings right there. Beautiful. There he goes. Oh, he flew again. All right. Oh, he's a lively little guy in there. All right, I'm gonna put these down. Maybe he doesn't want me to carry him around so much. So I'm gonna put those down. And like I said, um, by Friday, we will be letting them go. So this is what we're going to do. I know some kids don't want to talk. Let's keep it in our smart brain. I'm going to start our video back here, and then we are going to get started with class. So keep it in there. We will talk in just a little bit, but let's sing along and get started today. Two letters, digress, make one. 
one sound, digress. Have two letters, digress. Make one sound. Letter S, we say it right there boys and girls all right so this is what we're gonna do I'm gonna turn that off for just a little bit I want to tell you what exciting thing we are going to be learning about this week we are learning all about the zoo and animals that live in the zoo so all week long this week we're going to learn about zoo and different zoo animals. I have so many zoo animal books, one of my favorites, kangaroo. And I also have some really great fiction books about zoos like Gingerbread Man, Loose at the Zoo, and one of my favorites over here. Hey, don't get away from me. Animal Strike at the Zoo. This book is hilarious. The animals take over the zoo, okay? So we're gonna be learning lots about zoos. We're going to be comparing fiction and nonfiction stories. Lots and lots of exciting stuff going on. Very quickly, Ava, and then we're gonna get started here. You did. That's wonderful. All right. And let me go ahead and call on Noah. Noah's looking pretty cool today. Yes, Noah. We caught a butterfly yesterday and, and it's in the house. And we're going to release it today. And I have these new glasses for the sun. Wonderful. Congratulations. 
and they have rainbows. They look awesome. I can see the rainbow. I bet all of our friends can see the rainbows too. They are pretty awesome. All right, boys and girls, we are going to take a look at feeding time at the zoo. Feeding time at the zoo, what happens when all of those zoo animals get hungry? And I'm gonna tell you a secret. This is a real true book. This is a nonfiction story. This is really what might happen at the Oakland Zoo or the San Francisco Zoo. We're so lucky to live by such wonderful zoos. Feeding time at the zoo. There's a polar bear right there. Pretty awesome. Let's see what happens. It's feeding time at the zoo. The zookeeper has peeled and sliced and diced all morning. Now she loads the food cart and brings breakfast to the animals. Now check this out. Do you think she's feeding these animals a lot of candy? No. Is she feeding them cookies? No, they're eating fruits and vegetables. They're eating a healthy diet to keep their bodies healthy. You need a healthy diet to keep your body healthy too. Elephants get Timothy hay. Timothy hay is a type of tall grass that is cut, dried, and bundled into bales. This elephant likes his hay a little moist. He drops it in the water for a quick soak, just like cereal and milk. So look at this guy, he's over the water. He puts his, his Timothy hay in the water and then picks it up to eat it. Elephants can eat 150 pounds of food a day. They eat hay, grain, bran, and even watermelons. Look at that. 150 pounds of food per elephant every day. That is a lot of food just for the elephants. Oh my goodness, and look at that. Zebras and giraffes also eat hay. For snacks, they nibble on the leaves of plants. This giraffe has room to roam in her grassland home. After breakfast, she gets a drink of water from the pond. And there she is stretching that long neck over to drink from the pond. Zookeepers work hard to keep the animals happy and healthy. This spider monkey gets a children's chewable vitamin, just like the ones you might take. In the wild, animals have to search for their food. So to keep the spider monkeys from getting bored, the zookeeper hides apples, oranges, and sunflower snacks for them to find. The monkeys get their food hidden, so they have to go on a hunt and find it. Polar bears get to look for their food too. The zookeeper throws piles of raw vegetables into the water for snacks. This polar bear dives in and comes up with a sweet potato treat. So it jumps in the water and finds a sweet potato to eat. It's time for breakfast. The polar bear gets fresh fish, fruit, and rice. After breakfast, it's time to settle down for a nap. Look at that. He's eating fish and strawberries and rice. That's even food you might eat. And then he gets sleepy after he eats a big breakfast. The giant panda likes bamboo. She strips the woody stalks of their tender leaves before eating them. The bamboo is grown right at the zoo, so it's always fresh. Many animals need to eat their vegetables just like people. The pot-bellied pig eats a bowl of peppers, squash, tomatoes, carrots, and lettuce. When he eats corn on the cob, he eats the whole thing, corn cob and all. So he's eating corn and he just pops the whole corn cob right in his mouth, yum, yum. Do you eat corn like that? No. 
The tortoise gets a vegetable salad with special leaf eater biscuits chopped in. Can you guess how these biscuits got their name? They have all the nutrients that plant eating animals need to stay healthy. Each biscuit is only as big around as a pencil. So the tortoise eats salad. Listen to this tortoise's salad. Two pounds of carrots, eight ounces of apples, one pound of cucumber and squash, one and a third pound spinach and kale, one and a third pound dry rabbit chow with water. Wow, it eats all fruits and vegetables and rabbit chow. Did you know you can feed a rabbit and a tortoise the same food? Must be healthy. And here's a porcupine. He gets a healthy mix of spinach, sweet potatoes, fruit, raisins, and leaf eater food. This porcupine nibbles on a peeled banana. Look at the cute little porcupine eating the banana. Very sweet. Are we gonna give the porcupine some chips, potato chips? What about french fries? No, that wouldn't be healthy for the porcupine, just like it's not really healthy for you. I'm hungry, roars the tiger. The tiger is a meat eater. The zookeeper feeds her a bucket of giant meatballs with vitamins and minerals mixed in. After breakfast, the tiger stretches and licks herself clean. Then she struts into her yard and relaxes under a shady tree. She got meatballs for breakfast, but we knew tigers eat meat. We knew that, didn't we? Are tigers meat eaters? Yeah, a little bit different than a panda. Oh my goodness, look at this guy. Do animals use knives and forks? No, but sometimes they do eat off of utensils. Chomp, the alligator snatches a meatball off of a broom. If a broom spoon wasn't used, the meat would fall apart in the water. So this alligator eats meatballs off of a giant spoon. The sea lion is a fish eater. Arf, arf, he sits up and barks for his breakfast and he's getting a nice breakfast of fish. Look at that. Breakfast for the birds is as colorful as the birds themselves. A cockatoo sizes up a whole carrot. Look at the cockatoos right there and the carrots hanging down below. A macaw peels a juicy orange. Shedding and peeling food keeps the birds busy. Later, they will eat their main meal, a mixture of bird feed and seeds. And here are the flamingos. They have these right at the entrance of the Oakland Zoo. They are amazing. Flamingos eat with their heads upside down. They use their beaks to scoop up small shellfish, worms, and seeds from the water. Their bright pink color comes from the shellfish they eat. So they're pink because of their food. That's the color of their food. And look at this, here's the petting zoo. Visitors can feed the animals snacks in the petting zoo. Kids hold out ice cream cones filled with crunchy food pellets. Come and get it. Later, the petting zoo closes and the animals eat a healthy hay meal. Look at that, that's a fun thing to do, to go to a petting zoo and feed the animals. All this food is enough to make anyone hungry. What do you think the kids at the zoo will have for a snack? Hay? Bamboo? Leaf eater biscuits? <laughs> no, a tutti fruity ice cream pop. So the girl is feeding the animal in, with one hand and she's got her ice cream pop, her popsicle, in the other hand. Very silly. So that is just a little bit of the work that goes into taking care of animals at the zoo. Now, did you learn something new about how animals are cared for at the zoo? Thumbs up if you learned something new about zoo animals today and how hard zookeepers actually have to work to take care of all of those animals. 
it is impressive. So the next time you're able to go to the zoo with your family, watch the animals, but also see if you can spot any zookeepers taking care of them. They work hard to do that as well. Now, all right, I think we're really excited to switch gears here. Now, lots of you found you have a yellow paper and inside we have something really special. Sunday is Mother's Day and that is the day for you to let mom know how special she is. Today, we are making a Mother's Day card. And those of you that are coming to school tomorrow, keep your card at home. And those of you that are turning in your folder on Friday, don't turn in your Mother's Day card because we're making this for mom and I want you to be able to give it to her. Now, I'm gonna tell you something else. You can keep it a secret until this weekend if you want to. You might think, ooh, I have a special place. I can, I can hide this away from my mom and I can give it to her and surprise her on the weekend. Sunday is Mother's Day. So even if you stick it in your sock drawer or you tuck it under some papers on your desk, you might have some place you can keep it hidden for a few days. Skylar, do you have an idea of what you might do? Can I tell you something? Yeah. Do I have school tomorrow? Of course. You gonna come see me? Are you excited? Yeah, yeah me too. Yes, Avery, do you have a special place you get to put that? One day, one day when I, when I, when I go back to my mom, don't look in my folder because there's a Mother's Day surprise. <laughs> And we have more we're going to be making for mom this week. We have another special project going on this week as well. So not you'll have more than just a card for her. Uh, Xerxes, do you have something special, someplace special to hide this away? You can hide it in this cereal box. That's a nice trick. Sounds like a plan. Sounds like a plan. Thumbs up if you think you have a good hiding spot. Thumbs up. I think I've got a good hiding spot. Lots of you have been thinking about your hiding spots. That's wonderful. So let's do this. I know some of you want to share. Let's keep it in your smart brain for just a minute because I do have one more really special fun book for us to read. This is called what moms can't do. Did you know there's something your mom can't do? Let's find out what that might be. The author is Douglas Wood. The illustrator is Doug Cushman. What is it that moms can't do? Here's mom, she's waking up. Okay, your mom is not an alligator, obviously. But let's see what this mom is all about. What moms can't do. Do you ever leave toys on your floor like that? You ever have toys on the floor? Some of you always pick your toys up off the floor. That's very good. There are lots of things that regular people can do, but moms can't. Moms can't wait to wake up kids in the morning. They can't make the bed without lots of hell. Look at that, they're playing and playing and playing. Moms can never pick out just the right clothes. His mom's showing him a shirt to wear and he's saying, no, I don't want that shirt. Do you ever say that to your mom? No, I wanna wear something else. And they have trouble keeping things clean. <laughs> He's throwing his clothes on the floor and his mom's picking them right up. Anybody have a mom that helps them like that? She can't just leave stuff on the floor. She picks it up, doesn't she? Moms can't have yummos with purple marshmallows for breakfast. Only cough 
coffee or tea or yogurt or bran flakes. Yuck. Anybody's mom drink coffee or tea in the morning because they can't have sugary cereal? Some of yours might. They need a little advice when they're packing lunches. Look, moms can't pack lunch without saying, put this in, mom. Moms can't run very fast. Anybody faster than their mom? Are you faster than your mom? <laughs> Some of you might be, huh? Sometimes moms can't hear themselves think, whatever that means. Does your mom ever say, I can't hear myself think? Moms are not good at saying goodbye. Even to the teacher. Do you ever have to say goodbye to mom and she just keeps hugging you and kissing you and hugging you and kissing you? Moms can't push grocery carts fast enough. Look at the guy, he's riding. And he wants his mom to go faster and she can't. Sometimes they need help opening doors. Yeah, they can't do everything by themselves, can they? Moms don't know how to keep salamanders in their shirts. Look, he's got a little salamander friend, but his mom doesn't know how to do that. Or toads in their pockets. She pulled out the toad, luckily before those pants went in the washer. Whew. Moms aren't very good tacklers, and they can't make a basket on their own. Do you ever help your mom make a basket? Moms are easy to squirt, but they have a hard time squirting you, usually. Except look, mom got them pretty good that time. Moms really don't like to watch movies by themselves. And sometimes they need protection during the scary parts. They feel much better with someone on their lap. Moms can't let go of a hug without a kiss or two or nine. Does your mom ever hug you and just have to kiss you over and over and over? Yeah. There are lots of things moms can't do, more than you can count. But there's one thing they do better than almost anyone. And that's love you. Does your mom love you the best? Of course, of course she does. So our job today is to write a card to mom and we have an outside part this is going to be the outside part we're going to glue this part on the outside and the writing part is going to go on the inside but before we put any glue on the writing part we're going to do the writing first so everybody i just want you to take out just the writing part right here just the writing part so we're gonna take out the writing part and we're going to do the writing part together. So let me get everything all warmed up here. There we go. All right, I'm gonna scooch this over. Now, you might have something special you already know you want to tell your mom, or you can copy what I'm going to write. And I'm going to write, Dear Mom, I love you so much. Love. And then we're going to sign our name, okay? Yes, Mahilani? You already have an excellent hiding spot. Way to go. That is great. Yes, Dominic. Got a perfect place to hide in. In this old 
Oh, that's that's that that sounds perfect. She'll never find it there. Yeah, and I put so much stuff in here sometimes. Good, good. All right, hold those thoughts in your smart brain. Let's get started with our writing here real quick. And the love part, that tells me that's the bottom of my writing. Right up here at the top, I'm going to write, Dear Mom. Dear is a long E word. There's two vowels, D-E-A-R. D-E-A-R, dear. And then I'll go ahead and lay my spacer down and write mom. And I have to write a capital M when I write it this way. And we know how to spell mom. M-O-M, comma, dear mom, comma, oops, there we go, dear mom. All right, and I'm doing my best, neatest writing. And we're going to write, I love you so much. I, I'm gonna lay down my finger, love, and love is right down here, but it's L-O-V-E, love. love you. There's our sight word. Y O U. Dear mom, I love you so much. you so much exclamation because this is something we say with a lot of emotion dear mom I love you so much yes send in up Mrs. White can we write our own sentence yes you can write mom? your Yes, you can write your own sentence. If there's something else you want to write or something more you want to write, that is I a... I have something else too. Can I even color this after this? This is absolutely yours to create. So you betcha. Yes, Brandon Ace. I don't have a clue. Um, that's okay, Brandon. Don't worry about it. You'll find something, even if you use tape, it'll be fine. Don't worry. Is there a tape or you could use that too. You decide, honey. And maybe your sister might be able to help you find some glue, okay? Let me call on Sasha. Yes, Sasha. Two things. So, um, can I like use my marker to trace this? Mm -hmm. You can definitely because rainbow right. Because when I paste it, she won't see the print, right? Of course. So definitely once you write it, you can go back and rainbow write it with any color that you choose. That will be totally fine. All right, boys and girls, so I wrote, Dear Mom, I love you so much. And down here it says love, and I might want to trace love with the color that I choose. Love. Love. And then there's another comma. And then sign your name nice and neat. Sign your name nice and neat, just like that. Um, yes, Xerxes. I, I love mommy one million percent. Excellent. And that is a very Xerxes thing to say. She will love that. Beautiful, Avery. Very nice. Ava, are you okay, honey? I think I got 
You don't have your eraser? Is that what you said? No, my eraser is not going to work. That's why I'm it's not, it's not, like, that's why I'm, I'm writing and then uh, my eraser is not going to work. Okay, okay. Do you have another pencil you could use? No, my pencil box is at home. Got it. I used to do it okay. every day. And then I gotta go to my other, my, I gotta go to school and then um, I gotta go to Zoom that I don't have the that I got. Okay, okay. Well, Ava, you could kind of even skip that one part and just go on and finish it up. You can skip that one part. Let me move that down. Some of you, I think, needed to still see it. So there it is right there. So you can keep writing. Just skip the part that you missed, and then when you have an eraser a little bit later, you can use it then. Yes, Skylar? Yes, I'm going to show you exactly what we're going to do with it. You betcha. So that's going to be our next step. So some of you are still writing. Some of you are still coming up with your own ideas. Some of you are ready to open up your card and glue this on the inside. So I know right where I want to put this. I want to put this so that when my mom opens it up, she's going to see that part right there. So I'm going to turn it over and I'm tracing the back of my white paper. So I'm, I've got my glue stick and I'm tracing and I'm tickle, 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 tickle right down the back just like that. So I'm going to push it down so it all sticks. There I go. That's the inside of my card. And I definitely want to put my picture on the outside of my card. So this, it's like the outside of my book. And I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna trace it, tickle, 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 and stick it down right here, right on the outside of my card, so that my card looks like this. So here's the outside and I open it like a book and there's my writing on the inside. And I can, as soon as I do that, or even before I do that, I know some of you are still looking for glue. Um, you can just start coloring and rainbow writing now. So take the outside, even if you haven't had an opportunity to glue it down yet, you can start coloring, making this look like, like, you, like your mom, make it special for your mom. So I might start coloring here. I might even trace around the edges here. Beautiful. Take your time. Make it so nice. Beautiful, Avery. Yep, just like that. You got it. <clears throat>
I see lots of kids still working. So we'll take some more time. We'll take some more time to work on this. We wanna make it really nice. Brandon Ace, you can color the front of it. Even if you don't have glue, you can still color it so that once you glue it down, it's all done. Yeah, you can work on those parts. Do your writing. I'll turn it back to the writing page just in case some of you still wanna see that. There it is, just like that. So do your writing, do your coloring. Beautiful, Miriam. Very nice. Very nice. She'll love it, Miriam. Yes, Andina. Very nice, Sasha. This is my turn. They this is my turn. Yes, absolutely. This is yours to create. So make it beautiful in the way you want to. Okay, this is my turn. Yes, Avery. That's good. We're doing this right now because my mom isn't here. Oh, excellent. You could be nice and sneaky that way. In the best way. Yes, Sasha. What does this say? Behind every great kid is a great mom. What does that mean? That means your mom helped make you great. You're a great kid, thanks to your mom. Mm -hmm. She takes such good care of you. So you agree with that statement? Very is nice. This you? Is this you? You know what? It wasn't meant to be me at all. It's just a representation of what a mom could be. Well, I don't have that many brothers and sisters. No. Just me and my baby brother. Yeah, I know. It's really fun. Maybe I can make it as you. Okay. I'll use this one. This. Yes, Samira. Can I tell one thing to Sasha? Yes. Sasha, you know, if, uh, if it's you and only your baby brother, then you can make all of these your friends. Mm -hmm. And then this can be your mom with your friends. Mm -hmm. Friends, cousins, yep. Maybe yeah. I can, I prefer to make it more like, um, Mrs. Lai and the kids. <laughs> so where's your mom? Mm, well, like my mom only planned to send me to kindergarten. So that's why I'm not going to draw her and, and me. Oh yeah, they can and have mom draw me in kindergarten. Because it's the best school. <coughs> I'll change that one. Yes, Ava, how's it going over there, honey? Whatever you want. Time to go. In just a moment, we will, for sure. I'm going to make a couple of quick announcements, but we will be going. As a matter of fact, no, I'm already so long. My auntie got me. But she's like eight years old. 
Okay, all right. Well then let's talk, let's talk about some things that we're going to be working on. So we are going to be working on making a special book today. And I want to tell you this special book, it's really cute. It's an animal book and it's lots of different animals that you might find at the zoo. And I've already recorded the video and in the video I said those of you that come to school don't bring this book with you because I have it at school for you. So leave it at home and it's going to be in the reading with Mrs. Live video that I still want everybody to watch every day. Okay, so I'm going to leave this for you at home. Or I want you to leave this at home because we'll practice it in the classroom but we'll do it together. Okay, I have it for you. Yes, Vivon, I see you over there. Yes, beautiful, very, very nice. And some of you I know have some great places that you've decided you're gonna tuck these away, hide them, so they can be a surprise to mom this weekend for Mother's Day. So this is what I'm gonna say. Some of you still wanna talk to me and that is a-okay. If you are ready to go, you might wanna still color, you might wanna still add other details and that's fine. But if you're ready to go, I will see you tomorrow, okay? Have a wonderful Bye. afternoon.